We have questions about what exactly happened. We are looking into that uh, very rapidly. With just three days to go before the federal election, Liberal leader Justin Trudeau on his heels after the Toronto Star revealed one of his candidates was charged with sexual assault in 2019, a charge that was later dropped. We only learned about these serious allegations uh, yesterday through the work of the Toronto Star. Uh, we are looking into it uh, very carefully and we have asked the candidate to pause his campaign. Spadina Fort York candidate Kevin Vuong says the allegations against him are false. The NDP pouncing on Trudeau for not dismissing Vuong. Either this candidate in Toronto lied to the Liberal Party and the Liberal Party is okay with that, or the Liberal Party knew all along and Mr. Trudeau is okay with that. Parties only have three days left to convince Canadians to vote for them. Most polls show the Liberals and Conservatives in a tight race with the NDP currently in third place. In Windsor, Ontario, Trudeau's team facing a common sight, protesters. Why are all these people here and he's getting harassed? Trudeau using the opportunity to slam Conservative leader Aaron O'Toole for his approach on vaccinations. How do you think he's going to be able to lead Canada on vaccinations if he can't even convince the people who signed up to follow him, who made him leader, to get vaccinated? Meanwhile, the NDP slamming Trudeau for sending Canadians to the polls. The calling of this election, there was no reason for it. It was called during the fourth wave when Mr. Trudeau knew well, full well there would be a fourth wave of COVID-19. He called the election anyways, despite the forest fires, despite the crises going on. It was a selfish decision. Similar criticism from Conservative leader Aaron O'Toole. If Justin Trudeau is rewarded for calling a $600 million election in the middle of a pandemic, everything you've come to dislike about Mr. Trudeau, the lectures, the division in this country, the hypocrisy, the rising prices, they will all only get worse. But O'Toole had his own issues threatening to undermine his party's chances. He found himself downplaying previous praise he gave to Alberta Premier Jason Kenney, who is now watching hospitals fill up with COVID patients after declaring an open summer earlier this year. O'Toole even refusing to say Kenney's name. I know Premier's names. The most important thing is I don't care about their political party. I care about the Canadians in their provinces. In Ottawa, Nigel Newlove, City News.